This is not a normal power plug. It's much bigger than that, and it has more pins. And that's because this power plug is designed to carry what we call three-phase electricity. But what exactly is that? To understand three-phase electricity, you first have to have some knowledge about the basics. This is an electric circuit, which has a battery in it. That battery has a positive side and a negative side. The positive side is positively charged, and the negative side is negatively charged. The electric current goes from the positive side to the negative side, and on its way it goes through the light bulb, making it light up. The electric current will keep flowing like this until at some point the battery runs out. This battery provides what's known as DC electricity. DC stands for direct current and it means that there is one positive side and one negative side and the current will constantly run from positive to negative. As you may or may not know, power outlets don't use direct current. They use what we call alternating current or AC. In an AC power outlet, there is no positive and negative side. Instead, there is one neutral wire, aka the zero, and there is one phase wire, or live. The neutral wire is neither positive or negative, it's, well, neutral. The live wire, on the other hand, does something very interesting. Here's a graph of the voltage on the live wire in a power outlet. As you can see, it switches between plus 230 volts and minus 230 volts. When the live wire is at plus 230 volts, its voltage is higher than that of the neutral wire, since 230 is more than zero. Therefore, the neutral will now act like the negative side of the battery, and the live will now act like the positive side. But when the live reaches minus 230 volts, its voltage is lower than that of the neutral wire, and therefore the zero now acts as the positive side, and the live acts as the negative side. So in an AC environment, you could say that the positive and the negative sides swap all the time. The live wire switches back and forth between plus 230 and minus 230 volts 50 times in one second, which is really fast. Those specs are true for most power outlets around the world. If you're in America, though, the live wire switches between plus and minus 120 volts, and it does that 60 times in one second. AC power is also known as single phase electricity, since there is one phase and a zero. Three phase electricity, as you might have guessed, means that you have three phases and a zero. Right now, you can see the graph of each individual phase in a three-phase power outlet. As you can see, they're not exactly in sync. In fact, they are 120 degrees apart. The max voltage between each phase and the zero is still 230 volts. However, since we now have multiple phases that are slightly out of sync, there is also a voltage between the phases instead of just between a phase and zero. As you can see in the graph, the max voltage between phases is about 400 volts. So that's why three-phase electricity can supply a higher voltage than regular single-phase electricity. Now, not only is three-phase useful for machines that need higher voltages, it's also useful for machines that need more current, since three wires can deal with more current than just one. In a standard three-phase plug, there are three phase pins, one zero, and a ground pin for safety. So there you go. Now you know what three-phase electricity is. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.